All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next uh, question in section 5.2 wants us to graph Euler's function, of course, using the calculator, and make sure to show the asymptotes, and then I want you to learn the basic shape of this graph. So, we're eventually going to be drawing a graph here on this piece of graph paper. The function f of x is Euler's function, which is e to the x power. That's Euler's function. It's an exponential function whose base is e. So, if I want to graph that on my graphing calculator, all right, let's make sure it's on. There we go. And I'm always going to verify zoom 6. Okay. And then I'm going to type y equals. I'm going to go above the natural log function, which is Euler's function, by hitting second natural log. And that gives me e raised e caret. And then, of course, I'm putting in an x. And I'm closing parens. e raised to the x power. y equals e raised to the x power is Euler's function. When I draw a graph, I see an exponential graph. It's in the upper, it's in quadrants 1 and 2. It does not go into quadrant 3 or 4. Okay? And what's happening right here is the graph is getting close to the x-axis. Closer and closer and closer, but it never actually touches it, so we actually have an asymptote there. So when I transfer my graph to my paper, Euler's function crosses the y-axis at the ordered pair 0, 1. Part of the reason you know that, if I put in a 0, e to the 0 power is 1. So the ordered pair 0, 1 is on this curve. This part of the curve is doing this. And this part of the curve is hovering above the x-axis. It's never actually touching it or crossing it. And the way I'm going to indicate that is I'm going to draw a broken I'm going to make this, these a little thicker. I'm going to make the x-axis look like a you know, set of broken line. And I'm going to write in the equation for the x-axis, which would be y equals 0. Remember, any horizontal line is always y equals. So y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. Remember we've talked about that all the way from 1033 on up. A-S-Y-M-P-T-O-T-E. The P is silent. And even though I didn't ask it on this question, it's a good idea to know the domain and the range. If I scan from left to right the domain of this function, is all reals, which I write like this in interval notation. The range of the function if I scan from bottom to top. Remember what it's doing. It's getting close to y equals 0, but it's never touching it, okay? But it's definitely below 1, so don't think 1 is where the range starts. It's below there. The graph is below where the y is 1. The correct way to write the range would be from 0 to infinity. But notice what I did. I didn't put a bracket on 0. That's because the graph never actually reaches y equals 0. y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote, so the graph hovers above it. So that's why we put a paren on it. So it's y values above 0, but never equal to 0. And that is the basic shape of Euler's function. And remember, it is an exponential function. Any function written in this form, where you have a positive base raised to the x power written as a function, is called an exponential function. And in this particular case, this specific exponential function is called Euler's function because we used base e. Okay.